4.53 a.m. It's time to go. Goodbye. I love you. Goodbye to you other sleepy heads too. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you for taking me to the airport. Home sweet home. We have gifts. Someone left this on my dashboard. Um, Please identify and or explain yourself. Thank you. I've got a hat, Lone Star Feed and Fertilizer. Thank you. And then I got a shirt from my buddy Travis, the okayest flat better. Nice. Well, the briefest of checks around the truck and trailer lead me to believe that either there are no other pranks or hijinks going on since I left this truck here unlocked for a week. Or there's some really top tier level pranks going on that I'll find out about later. I'm kind of hoping for the latter. This one's for Joe. It's about that time. Okay, let's ride. This trail system that I'm on right now is called the Radlands and it's awesome. Back when I was a piece of garbage office worker, I used to ride this every day at lunch, um, almost every single day. And it's like a seven mile loop that I did out here. It's just beautiful. It's one of the most underutilized trail systems in central Oregon. Maybe one of the reasons that I do love it is that it's underutilized. Awesome ride though. Redmond is sort of bisected by this canyon and they've made a bunch of multi-use trails through it. it runs north to south most of the way through town um but right now i'm perched up in some shade so i'm 15 miles into this ride and uh i'm starting to remember how out of shape i am <laughs> i'm supposed to be bike riding but I got distracted. Yeah, this ride was pretty cool today. I rode some stretches of trail that I haven't actually ridden in a couple of them in over like two years. Had a really good time. So I'm getting ready to head up to where I'm getting loaded in the morning. Um, it's doing the old inspections there. Uh, this truck has been parked here on this yard since the 16th. You know, one of the things I asked them to do was renew my annual. It expires in July. They didn't. Also, I told them that I like my brake shoes like I like my women. Thick. Darn it. 
Not like that. Should I be frustrated about this? Because I, I thought about it and my decision was that I am, I am frustrated. But they're still legal, so I guess let's roll, huh? It's always best that I believe in love. May of 1941, the war had just begun. The Germans had the biggest ships, they had the biggest gun in the city. Hey, I made it to my pickup in Gilchrist, Oregon. Um, I am very tired. I am very sunburned. And I would be doing this outside instead of inside, Giuseppe style. Except that when I opened the door to this truck, 16,000 mosquitoes came in. And now I'm scared. Listen, Jesse. When are we going to get back to the basics and start throwing pot roast on the ground it loves again? Tia, this is an excellent question. And to answer it sh like succinctly, like I've been known to do straight to the point, I will tell you I've had three sexy kitchen robots. The first one met its demise there on the asphalt it loves in Brigham City, Utah, between my truck and Giuseppe's truck because I was trying to move pot roast from my truck to his truck and it fell somewhere in between. It took out the sexy kitchen robot. The pot roast was destroyed. Joe had a look of sadness in his eyes that keeps me up at night sometimes. And then the second sexy kitchen robot, uh, when I replaced the first one, I took that second one home and then uh, the redhead there, she tried to burn our house down with it by putting it on top of the stove with a burner on. And uh, unfortunately, it wasn't salvageable. It was That one was dead too. And then I got Sexy Kitchen Robot 3.0. And then one day when I was getting waiting to get loaded in New Jersey, I started making something in there. I think it was ramen. It was definitely ramen. And then Forklift Timmy came over as soon as I had my ingredients warming up. And he said, I'm ready to load you now. And I said, that makes sense. What an excellent time for you to be ready to load me once I got comfortable and started making food. But that's usually the way it goes. And then I closed the lid on that bad boy and I didn't open it again for several days because I'm irresponsible. And I opened it up and then there was an ecosystem of foulness and sludge and bacteria in there. And then I realized that I'm too irresponsible to have a kitchen over the road. So I've gone back to pre-packaged meals like a piece of garbage, company driver. I will be out here living uh, tray to tray through a 700 watt microwave because I don't deserve any more than that because I'm not responsible enough. Thank you.